Hello everybody, this is Kathy, and I wanted to come on here and cut these papers with you. These are my Mini Kit Monday 4 for 4 uh, papers, and I wanted to cut them with you. So, I have my cutter here, and I don't know if it, let's see if I could get that in the screen. So, okay, this is my paper number one, and what I'm going to do is just cut them, and then I am going to, like, I'll put this paper strip with this pile that way, and I have them wrote down. Paper number one, the stripe, two is the blue, three is the orange, and four is the grid. So I will like put the strips with them after I cut them, but I wanted to do that with you. So let's just get started. Okay, I'll cut the strip off, and then I'm going to keep this and lay with it. So the first cut is 9 by 12. And this paper, it don't matter like which way it's going to me. So I'm just going to move this to 9. And there's my 9 by 12. So I will put that in a pile. And I will put this strip with it. The next cut is one and a half. So this is a three inch, so I'm going to put it on the one and a half. And then I will have two, two one and a halves. And that will go in my, with my paper. Okay, for number two, I'm gonna cut off the branding strip. So I'll put it on 12. Okay, for number two, I need a one by 12. So, well, let's put it at 11. Okay, there's my one by 12. And then I need a seven by 12. So let's put it on seven. There's my seven by 12 and then I need a four and this is a four by 12 so that is this is my pile for paper number two okay for paper number three let's cut off the branding strip Okay, now for paper number three, I need a six by six and a six by 12 and a six by six. So let's do the six, six, six by six. Okay, there's my six by six. And here is my leftover, and it's a 6 by 12, and then another 6 by 6. And this is paper number 3. Okay, paper number 4. And this is the paper number 4, so let's trim off the... This, oh, this reminds me. It's so funny here in Janet called these strippers. I love it when she starts laughing and calls these strippers. <laughs> okay, so now for paper number four is because I have writing up here on the top, I am going to turn this and it's four, four by 12. So when I do this on the layout, this piece will go horizontal because of the writing. So there's one four by 12. And then I will, these could go either way, but the cutting is three, 
four by 12s. So there's two more. Look at that coffee stain. I love that. Love that look. So these can, I could go this way or this way on my layout. So there is all of my papers cut. And I just wanted to share this with you. So I will put them in the piles for, um, for my layouts. So I will do that with you too. So the first layout, I will have a 9 by 12 and that is from my paper number 1. 9 by 12 and then a 4 by 12. So, and that is from paper number 4. So I may have this one with it. And then a 1 by 12 from paper number 2. And that is this one. Okay, so that is for layout number 1. I will put that up there. For layout number two is from paper number two is a seven by twelve, and then from paper number three it's a six by six, and then from paper number one is a one and a half by twelve. So there is layout number two. Let's Let's put little numbers on here. So that one's number one. This one is number layout two. And for layout number three is pattern paper. Number three is the six by 12. And then a four by 12 from paper number four. And as you can see, I can put it either way. So there's, and then I need from paper number one, I will need the one and a half by 12. So there is layout three. Okay. Now for the last layout, layout number four, I will need from paper number three, I'll need a six by six. And from paper number two, I will need a four by 12. And paper number four, I will need the last of the four by 12. So that is my layout four. All right, I hope you enjoyed watching me cut these papers. And I will see you on Monday with a layout. Bye-bye.